Hello everyone. Today I am going to tell how to come Australia, work and stay permanently under the skilled migration program. To know about this program, you need to visit the official website of immigration and citizenship which is imi.homeaffairs.gov.au. Once you are in this website, you will go to click on the visa and then you go to the link getting visa and you can explore the your visa option or you can just go to the list of visas here we go there are a lot of visas here so you will just see which one is suitable for you so for example if you are coming as a student so you can click one of the studying and training visas if you have a family in Australia and you get a sponsor from them so you can check any of the visa here and if you want to work in Australia either independently or sponsored by employer or a state Australian state so you can check here and if you are an asylum seeker because of you are from certain country where you have a severe humanitarian issue so you can check one of the visa here and that's all uh, and so on so just for example if you are willing to come Australia as a skilled independent visa so which is a skilled independent visa sub class 189 I just clicked on that and this visa does not need any sponsor from anyone it is completely different on your skill and qualification so this visa has three stream so new there they are New Zealand stream Hong Kong stream and point tested stream and those are not from New Zealand and Hong Kong so you check this point tested stream so basically what you need just what you need to do just click on the details and see what what is the what is this visa is about so here is the overview of the visa you can stay permanently and visa fee started from $4,640 and this visa let you work and study anywhere in Australia forever if you are eligible in future you can become a Australian citizen and to get this visa you must satisfy some of the criteria which is you have an occupation which is listed in the skill occupation list and you have a suitable skill assessment and then be invited to apply for this visa and satisfy the point so I'll tell about this invitation later on so first of all what we need to do check the skill occupation list either your skill is listed there or not so click on that and, and you see if you drag down you see the lot of skill list here you can just drag down and see what is your skill and you can go from there but if you if you are so rush so you just type your occupation here for example if I type just marine and see marine biologist for example you have a degree which is related to marine biologist so you can be a marine biologist and check that what visas option or uh, what visas option are available for marine biologist so I can see the skill independent visa point tested also available for marine biologist so how do you know how do you know that you are a marine biologist so you need to check this link here click on here and then 
this is called Australian and New Zealand standard qualification of occupation. So you check here, the what do you need to satisfy to be a marine biologist. This is common classification of this group is life scientist, which is life scientist general, biochemist, biotechnologist, botanist, marine biologist, microbiologist, zoologist, life scientist, not elsewhere classified. So for example, you are marine biologist. So what do you call how do you call yourself as a marine biologist? If you study something the anatomy, physiology, function, characteristics, behavior of any life things, either plants or animals, which is related to sea or connected water bodies. And for this study relation, uh, for this related study, you need to have at least a bachelor degree or higher qualification to satisfy that you are a marine biologist and also you need to read this task so what you have done as a marine biologist whether they match here or not if you think you are the right person to be a marine biologist then you go to check the beta assess which is the skill assessment authority so You need to come this website and skill assessment for migration. So you need to apply here to assess your qualification and skill that you are a marine biologist. And to do this, this is also government website. So ah, sorry, it is not a government website, but it's a government recognized uh, company. So you can apply here and pay the fee which is approximately $1,000 to get your uh, qualification assessed that you are a marine biologist and once you have that before doing that you should check your other eligibility whether you can be successful or not so I'll go back again and I'll check the eligibility. I'll uh, be invited to apply. I'll tell you this one later on. So, or I can tell now what you have to do. You will submit your expression of interest in the this link, skill select link, then wait for the invitation. If you are, uh, and, and this actually, this is, uh, application is free. So once you are qualified, this skill select will send you an invitation letter to apply for visa. So before submitting this expression of interest, you need to have suitable skill assessment with what I, what I have already told you that your skill, the marine, uh, your skill is marine biologist and we have been assessed by data assets. So this is the thing here, so I, I don't need to tell detail again. And be the B this is and to get Australian visa to stay permanently or work here, you need to be under 45 years old. So you must be under 45 years old. And you have to get a score of 65 points or more. And how do you check your point? Just point calculator. And which visa you are willing to do? This one. You can just go one by one, select your age and next, 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 and you can find your uh, total point. But also you can do this table and match what is your point here. Like say, what is your age and how much point you will get what's your English language skill and, and how much point you get so like just like this and and you see how much point you can 
έτσι. So one thing I would like to mention here, like for your English language, so you need to have at least competent English to apply for visa, which is six point in every section of IELTS but you will not get you will not be able to get any points for this English to get point for your English language you need to have at least seven in all section of IELTS and if you are very superior and you have at least eight points in all section in IELTS you will get 20 points so once you think that you have enough point which is 65 at least or you will get 65 then you can prepare yourself for English test and book the IELTS test in your country and join to the exam and get your score And this meet the skill requirements for what I already explained to you that you need to have your skill assessed, which is listed in the skill occupation list, and meet uh, meet our meet our health requirement, which is you need to be healthy and fit to work and stay in Australia. It is not so difficult if you are not suffering of a life-threatening disease so it's like someone will die in within one month or six months or one year like that otherwise you will be fine and you need to satisfy your character requirement which is that you have not done any kind anywhere in the world and you don't have any pending case against you uh, this is if you are from overseas, you should not have any debt to Australian government and you need to sign the Australian bill that you will follow the Australian rules and you should not have had a visa cancelled or a previous application reversed. Actually, this is from any countries. When you apply for a visa, you have to declare whether your visa was cancelled or refused from any country. Then you might not get the visa. So this is the overall, so if you think that you can be able to get a visa, so just go step by step and so before you apply you must submit the expression of interest through skill select, what I already told you, so sub I click on this and this is the skill select, just start and your expression of interest and then you follow the prompt. And you go from there. And once we are qualified, you will get a letter from Skill Select that you are eligible to apply for subclass 189. Then you gather all of your documents and uh, apply for visa. Make sure you apply within 60 days of your invitation. And after your and also you pay the necessary visa fee and after you apply just wait and relax for visa outcome once your visa is granted you will get a letter from immigration that you are successful then you should book your flight and come to Australia as soon as possible and you start working permanently and make sure you subscribe to our channel to get more information about the Australian visa system time to time I will explain the almost all of the Australian visa in our channel so please like subscribe and put your comments here thank you so much goodbye